Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. So let's go ahead and jump into this, Aries. Thank you, God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message. All right, so if you need to get in contact with me, all links are below. Not sure if I said that. It's really late. Um, okay, so this week, this card came out already turned over the nine of swords all right Aries what's going on uh the advice here is the nine of cups okay and the outcome is the page of pentacles all right okay so uh fear fear-based thoughts some of you you don't sleep through the night some of you have really erratic sleep patterns you don't stay asleep or you wake up or you wake up too damn early um some of you, you go to bed late and you still wake up early. Oof. Good luck. Um, some of you, your dream space, you're having some dreams. I don't know if you're remembering them, but they're also making you restless too. Um, some of you are going over something that happened or a conversation that happened over and over again. You know, in your mind to where it's making it, it's hard for you to shut down. It's hard for you to focus. It's hard for you to focus on what you're doing and what you're supposed to be doing. And for some of you that is sleeping, your health could be taking a toll or something about your health. So much coffee, so much adrenaline, so much, so many different things to stay, you know, woke or um, focused. I don't know if you're taking something for your focus. You're taking something to slow yourself down and focus, or you need to. Some of you could be night shift workers. If you're not a night shift worker, then you um, you stay up really late. Well, again, something about late and at night. At night, the thoughts attack you. Something about OCD, compulsive. You know, something you, you obsess and you're compulsive. I don't know if anyone's told you that, but something about that. Um, you don't know how to let go, to uh, de-stress, unwind. Something is bringing you a lot of anxiety also. Um, just an inability to cope with the fact that something is not exactly how you want it to be. Therefore, you're resting in the energy of fear. Okay. Uh, dude, keep in mind that you can manifest all of those fearful, worry-based worry thoughts. So come out of that energy. You have one thought about what could happen, what could go wrong. You have 10 thoughts about what could go right. Like I have a thing where um, I don't ask my daughter what's wrong. I ask her what's right, you know. So anyway, um. The, the advice is the nine of cups. It says make a wish. It can very well come true. The nine of cups doesn't say wish fulfillment. Like you're going to get it. It says make a wish. It can very well come true. It's also that you're wishing, hoping for something. Uh, the energy that you're putting out is one that you you are, are, are really in your emotions about something. Something that you are without. You don't have this thing. That's why you're wishing for it, right? Um. This thing would bring you a lot of uh, fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, stability, contentment, maybe even a bit of luxury. Come out of fear. You see how I said, if you do have a fear-based thought, counteract it with, uh, you know, um, with a positive thought. So it's like negative, positive. So the universe is saying, look, you can have what you want and you're going to get it, you know, if you can just kind of control your own OCD, your own obsessive compulsive disorder in terms of your mental process. Some Something about getting in your own way. Uh, the answer is not no, it's just not right now. You're going to have to sacrifice something in order to have this thing, whatever it may be. You have to make sacrifice. You have sacrifice. People can't see your sacrifice. Only All they see are the riches, the glory. They see the good things. The outcome is manifestation. So it looks like you're, the page of pentacles, you're going to get what you want. It could be smaller in 
amount and quantity and dollar amount, I don't know, in value, but it is valuable. You could make this work for you or you can make it larger. Something about it being consistent or aligned with what you need, the page of pentacles. It's healthy. It's a healthier choice for you or something about it being aligned with you and what's best for you. I don't know. The page of pentacles talks about learning consistency. Talks about being a student of studious. Um, it's showing up every single day. Ground your energy because you're too up in the clouds about this. Ground yourself by way of being practical. Do something practical in terms of seeing this come into manifestation. If this is business and or career, do something that will add value to your wish fulfillment. If you want the new job, then, um, of course, get the interview. Go on the interview. Send the thank you email or letter. Uh, follow up. Do your research about the company. That that would be the page of pentacles. It's everything that you can do. Something about saving and being resourceful also. Holding back too. Take the smaller one. I don't know what that means. Um, okay. Let me see. I pull one more card for you. What is the page of pentacles? Something about manifestation. Do your moon ritual. The new moon is this Thursday. A uh, new moon is about manifesting what you want to come into your life. Uh, Google new moon rituals. Find one. Find one that suits you. Take part in it. Bring, yeah, some of you, whoo, despair. Like, you can't. Obsessive. It looks like you're going to get clarity. You're going to get approval. Yeah, it might be smaller with merchant. Again, it might be the smaller one. Yeah, you get some written letter that allows you to have a new start. It could be small with the child. Yeah, you the conversation, you get an approval. You have a conversation about it and you move forward. This is what I have for you, uh, Aries. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website, book there. Um... You can ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L or coffee link. Thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you. Take care.